Okay, for myself, my partner Lucy, and our six month old baby, we have one, two, three, four behind there, five, six, seven, eight bags, a buggy in the front seat, and then down here, a final little sneaky suitcase tucked away. And that is one of the benefits of a cruise unlimited luggage. Are we ready? Yes. Let's go. Journey essentials. Yep. Oh, stocking up. Oh. Oh. There you go. That is needed. Two hours to Southampton today. A little bit of traffic, but we'll make some time up. No problem. Thank you very much. Someone has taken the car off and parked it. We'll see that in two weeks. Our luggage has gone through onto the ship. We will next see that in our cabin, in our room. Happy days. That, that took easy. about six minutes, I would say. If that. Very easy. So I can recommend the um, CPS parking, definitely. So we're at Ocean Terminal in Southampton. And this is the one we were at before, I think. We've done, I think, two cruises from this same terminal. So now we've literally just got to walk in. I think we're a little bit early. Hopefully they'll let us on early because we're a little bit hungry. Very little exciting. Bit. Speak for yourself. I know, I can't wait. Coda's had a good journey here, had a nice nap in the car, so he's all topped up. Um, and now we've just got to head inside. We've done the check-in online already, so we don't actually have to do that. We don't have to do any of the normal bits that might take a while. So this hopefully should be nice and quick. Hello. Hi. Oh, <laughs> we both had different ideas here. It's time to go on a cruise. Two weeks. Scandinavian, Baltic Sea, cruise, Britannia, P&I. Ready. <laughs> Ready. Okay, security done. Yes, so easy. Done and dusted, another like 10 minutes. And yeah, now we are walking on. This is the bit that's a little bit warm, I'd say. But um, now we are walking on straight to the ship. So door to door, I mean, like compared to where you have to fly somewhere hour. for a vacation. Oh, since we got here, it's an hour. I mean, from since home, from home two to getting on the ship. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, and you're on your holiday already. Thank you. Just like that, we are on board. Just like that. How easy? So easy. How nice. Yeah. Super friendly staff here already. A lot of attention on Mr. Coda, as expected. <laughs> yes. So we have to go to our muster station now to do a little check. Then we are free to roam, and I think lunch is going to be the first stop and coffee. Okay, so we we're going to go to the cabin, and then we decided to skip that part and just go straight for some food at the buffet. We've got a little lamb misaka. Uh, a taboule, I don't know how you say it, salad, which looks lovely, um, all separated out, and then there's some veggies here. Um, and this is just round one, so who knows if I'll go back up for more. I also have the lamb moussaka, some beef behind the potatoes, some kale, and this, they also have a huge selection of desserts, so that could be dangerous. I've gone for a vegan and gluten free carrot cake. Starting the sweet stuff off slowly because we could end up. Could be crazy. <laughs> mostly, mostly for the baby. <laughs> wow, just like that, all of our luggage is now outside our cabin. That's amazing. So Last good, all isn't it? Car, now it's all here. Yeah, so key quick. Key is in here. Now we have three keys. Coda has his own key. Perfect. In case he's out later than us or something. Yeah, they're all sealed as well. Cleaned and sealed. Yes, yeah, that's good. 
So, break the seal. And in we go. Okay, excuse the white noise that you can hear. Coda's white noise machine's on and he's having a nap. Yeah, in his <laughs> snoo shade. This is awesome. It goes around the cot. So Thanks to snoo shade, they sent us this. And this is the first time that we're trying this out. But it's working well so far, keeping all the light out. Yes. Um, I was very clever when packing. Look what I did. I just packed it with the hanger still on. So literally I can go out there, really. Wow, that is genius. Straight in the wardrobe. Very cool. That is how you pack and unpack. Here you go. Say lie. We just filmed some shots. Confess. Confess what? Your nap. I, did I was not running have a around like yeah, a nutter around, nap. around the entire oh. ship trying to book things for the duration of the cruise. George was asleep with Koda, so. Yeah, and trying to remember the layout of the ship. Shall we walk and talk? It's nice and quiet here because everyone's still up on top deck yeah, for the sail away. Oh, but oh, we're in the atrium. I think we nice. Need to just go here. Okay, perfect. Have you tried the atrium yet? Not really. Have a quick look here. Um, so the last time we were on board was 2016. Yeah, specific. And yeah. we were vlogging. There are videos from the GC vlog when we were last on this cruise ship. So yeah. if that interests you to see. We were in the Caribbean on that one. So, and it's a couple of hours since we got on now. We have let our buffet food go down a little bit before getting dressed and going for dinner you're going to notice food is a big theme in these videos um, and we're heading to I think it's a peninsula or the Marid peninsula the peninsula restaurant for dinner tonight we've gotten dressed up because there is a dress code in the evening so I'm wearing a dress and some heels wow wow guys comment below <laughs> comment below what do you think of Lucy's outfit this say? evening <laughs> I was gonna say out of 10 but that's a little bit, a bit rude. yeah um, yeah, so so we're gonna go to the restaurant now and um, we were gonna do the sail away party but it's pretty busy up there and it's a little bit loud for Coda so we thought we'd just slip in, get a nice early restaurant reservation and just enjoy some food and then maybe watch sunset from my balcony later I think is the plan. Yeah, that'd be nice. The cool thing about um, restaurants and eating dinner on cruise ships as well, the thing we love to do is something called freedom dining, yes. which means you can turn up to the restaurant at any time you want and they'll find you a table. You can do set dining, you can club share dining. with other people. Is it club, club dining, is that a word? We prefer freedom dining, especially now yeah. traveling with a baby. Anytime, That's gonna be anywhere. so much easier yeah. for us. And yeah, let's stop chatting along. And oh, all the shops are about to open as well. Let's give you a quick shot of the atrium here because there's all kind of like shops, 360 around. And then here it is. It pretty much looks like a luxury shopping mall. If you've never been on a cruise and don't really know what to expect, this is it. This is it's it. a bit of every type of holiday you can imagine squished into one. That's so true. Life on board the ship is a holiday in itself and you get to see all these amazing places. But now we really are talking too much. Mm -hmm. We need to get dinner. So sat down at dinner and suddenly all the cruise memories are coming back to me. How much of a nice experience it is going for dinner every night. Because in normal life you don't really do that. You might go once a week, once every two weeks, twice a week maybe. But you have a really nice luxurious experience here. You're taken care of so much in the restaurant and the menu is different pretty much every night. There are some staples that stick around like steak etc. But tonight we've got a variety of starters, a variety of menus. Dessert that I'm already looking at and they even recommend wine to go with it. They've got a separate drinks list here which we can order from. They come around with bread rolls. Good news. Life is good on board. Leave your shirt on the floor. Mods uh, has just arrived. We didn't actually film our main course, but I had steak, which was amazing. Very needed after the travel day. I say the travel day. It was like two hours today. It was really easy to get here. But this is a dark chocolate dessert with orange zest. And it's vegan, so there are vegan options on board as well. Lucy has gone for, what is that? Sticky toffee pudding. Sticky toffee pudding. Whether or not I get to eat it is another question. Yeah, he's got his eyes on that. I know, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I know, not for you. Mm. 
Mm. Wow. <coughs> oh, that's so nice. Rich, but not too sickly. This orange sorbet. Mm. Again, really nice. Sweet, but not too sweet. Together, I, I love chocolate orange. One of my favorite things is chocolate orange, so that together. Mm. Definitely getting that dessert again. So if you look really carefully in the distance, this, wait, mm, I think it's that, that's a Spinnaker Tower in Portsmouth, so goodbye England, hello Denmark somewhere this way, George is filming me, yeah we just come up to the top deck now, to watch the sunset after a lovely dinner in the restaurant and it's just so lovely, the best bit of a cruise for me is being in the water, being literally on top of the ocean and just looking out and just seeing sea for miles. That's my favorite part. Hopefully soon we'll be sailing in some waters that look slightly less brown and slightly more blue. Um, that's the plan anyway. <laughs> uh, there's a really nice photo opportunity for you. All oh, right, I was wondering if you were just lurking in the background, not saying anything. For me or for you? For you. Huh. You just stand here. Be right back. Hey guys, this is nuts. Look how nice this is. Wow, wow, wow. So we are gonna actually leave off tonight, but hope you're enjoying it so far. We're gonna pick this vlog up in the morning, um, show you guys breakfast, show you guys our first proper day here on the ship. This has been such a nice day. Very relaxing, very in our own time, on our own terms. Part of the reason we love cruising is because it is exactly that. You can do as much or as little as you want. And just like waking up and going to sleep on the ocean with views like this. It's something about it, you can't beat it. But anyway, I'm actually gonna head to the gym now and check that out, have a little evening workout. Very keen to keep that routine up because at home I've been in a very good routine lately. Coda is asleep. Lucy is going to see a show this evening. Obviously we're gonna switch around time so one of us is here with Coda. So we will see you guys in the morning.